My name is Mr. Inafune. I work for Capcom. I am the producer of one of our new games, Dead Rising. This is actually a title for the Xbox 360. Uh, in this game, the main character is a photojournalist that uh, is following a, a key incident he thinks will be the next big scoop for him. Uh, when he gets to a, a mall, he finds himself uh, totally surrounded by tons and tons of zombies. Uh, that was one of the key concepts, is that we wanted to just make a game that is just chock full of zombies. Uh, and so he must, as he uh, is stuck in this situation, survive uh, at least 10 days uh, in order to escape and then hopefully get the big scoop. That is the main goal of the game. With this game, the main character uh, finds himself uh, stuck in this mall with all these zombies. Uh, he is just your average everyday Joe. He's a photojournalist. He's not somebody with intense military training. He's no superhero. He only has his camera when he first arrives on the scene. So he has to uh, search them all, find something that could be used for weapons, uh, and then use those weapons to fight against the zombies. Uh, how you kill the zombies, what you choose to take as your weapons, uh, is going to largely depend, or rather be limited on, uh, the, the player's imagination. Basically, uh, we were shooting for getting the most number of zombies on the screen uh, that we could. So one of the biggest challenges was to take that, to take an alpha kit and make a game or make a, a video uh, or rather for E3 that would represent what the final game would look like. Uh, and as you saw in the one scene at the end of the video, uh, we have been able to achieve over a thousand different enemies on the screen at one time. So. That's always the biggest challenge is under the pressure of timing uh, to get something out for a big trade show like this, to actually show an actual representation uh, of what the final product will be. I can say that when the final version uh, does come out, you can be sure that it's going to have even better graphics uh, with still just that sheer massive number of enemies on the screen at one time. As this is a game that features zombies and it's by Capcom, uh, it will invariably be compared to Resident Evil. Resident Evil itself uh, is a great game that is based around sort of like total fear. It's got a sort of gothic touch to the graphics uh, and is got a main character that's just super cool. Uh, it's super dark. Whereas this game uh, is totally in a different direction. What we wanted to create was a game that seemed real, uh, i.e. the main character himself is nobody that looks cool. Matter of fact, one could even say he's ugly. <laughs> so we did not want that sort of Hollywood super ultra fear to be the main concept. We wanted it to be how you can take this main average character, fight against these impossible odds, uh, and, and beat them without any super cool Hollywood sort of moves. Uh, this is just your average everyday Joe trying to survive the situation he has been uh, pitted against. So there's even sort of like a room for maybe some light uh, comedic elements in the game itself. Uh, but it's definitely going to be totally in a different direction from what you have with Resident Evil. One area we were focusing on with this game is to try and uh, give the player a lot of different scenes uh, that could possibly occur. Um, what we've done is kind of place an emphasis on the human dramatic element that occurs when people are stuck uh, in these impossible circumstances in this most likely uh, a situation in which they are going to die. Uh, I personally feel that the zombies aren't the scariest things in this game. The scariest things in this game are going to be the people because people they have conscious, they have free will, they can be they can act like your friend and then betray you. They, you do not know whether they are friend or foe. Uh, there's sort of an unknown element about human nature uh, that we are going to play upon when we make this game. So this human drama that occurs in the game is going to be one key area. A lot of different characters you're going to see may have ulterior motives, they may not. But you, as the player, will have options of how you choose to interact with those characters. For example, the girl that you're leading. Uh, if she does strip, do you leave her there uh, and save your own ass? Or do you go back for her? Uh, is there something to be gained by saving her? The name of the game is Dead Rising. Uh, I'm Keiji Inafune. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, I, I know it's going to be a wonderful game. I know it's going to be a fresh gameplay experience that I think everybody can look forward to. Uh, you can look forward to it uh, sometime 
hopefully near launch. Uh, it may not come out exactly at launch, but we're working our best to get it out sooner than later. So hopefully uh, at a very close time to when the Xbox 360 is launched, and that is, of course, the platform that will be launched for the Xbox 360. So look for it, enjoy it, and uh, thank you very much for your time.